It's been a shocking weekend on the state's roads with the highest death toll for more than six months. The number of fatalities was shared equally between country and metropolitan roads. Police and other authorities have blamed a combination of speeding, drink driving and poor road conditions. But some road safety specialists are suggesting that other factors must be considered, such as car design and driver skill. They say that a mixture of defensive driving techniques and upgraded vehicles could bring about a dramatic reduction in the number of crashes on the roads and therefore a reduction in deaths and injuries. The most dangerous thing that most of us do day in and day out is drive a motor car. And it only takes one lapse of concentration and one small problem and you have a disaster. Even at low speeds, a modern car can be difficult to control in an emergency. The problems of heavy braking can see the car taking over from the driver. Some vehicles, though, respond better than others. And we're not talking about the make of car. We're talking about one of motoring's giant safety breakthroughs, the anti-lock brake system, or ABS. ABS is standard on some cars, optional on others, and is a giant advantage for any driver in avoiding skids and maintaining control in an emergency. Panic is normal in an emergency, but ABS prevents the tyres from locking. This means that the driver can still steer the car and the vehicle doesn't go shooting off in the direction that it prefers. You won't necessarily shorten the braking distance, but often the ability to be able to steer the car in an emergency is all you need for safety. There is one problem with ABS, but it's easy to overcome. If you stamp on the pedal and you feel it pulsing, hear it graunching, you must not lift off the pressure, otherwise the car will probably take further to stop. If you feel that pulsing, if you hear the noise, Keep the pressure on and you'll get the shortest stop. If you think your car has ABS, it's important you find out and try it out. The first thing to do is check whether there's a sticker at the back on the window or the boot. Then check the dash when you turn the key on. That should tell you too. And then you'll find a nice quiet road like this one and give it a try. By the way, as newer cars are continually being developed, the pulsation and noise is getting less with every new model. A perfect way to get to know your car's braking capability is with a well-established advanced and defensive driving course. ABS is ideal on a bitumen road, care is needed on gravel, on loose surface roads, where braking distances can be shortened with lock-up. With your tyres locked up, they push the loose surface away and can get right down to business on a harder surface. And the loose material builds up a barrier, a small wall, in front of the tyre to halt the tyres even quicker. But while lock-up stops you shorter in the gravel, you can't steer away from a hazard and sometimes the camber might head you into a ditch. With ABS it's vital to brake earlier on such a surface. In general terms anti-lock braking is excellent value because it can be so helpful in a variety of emergency situations. The cost of ABS as an option can often be recovered when the car is sold. If you have a car with ABS you have an advantage. But it's important to remember that ABS won't necessarily shorten the distance. Without ABS, if you can squeeze the brakes correctly, the stopping distance will be about the same. And here's another reason why advanced and defensive driving programs are valuable. But it is easy for even the most experienced drivers to get it wrong when a real emergency crops up. There really is no excuse for the crashes, major or minor, on the roads. ABS helps cars to be safer. So if the pulsing begins, keep the pressure on. It's working for you.